My name is Preeti Das. I am the additional director of the United World School of Liberal Arts and Mass Communication. I have around 20 years of work experience. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about it, but predominantly I have been a crime reporter, uh, that is a television and a print journalist. I have worked with the United Nations Disaster Response Program for two years. I was also with Radio Mirchi, both doing content and hosting radio shows. I have been teaching in um, Karnavati uh, in my department for the last three years and other than that, I am for the last nine years, a theater person and a stand up comedian. Why did I do this introduction is only to tell you people that liberal arts and mass com, if there is something, it is the flexibility of this field. My focus is very clear is to tell you people why this field is important and with time, why it is gaining more importance all across the globe, especially in the context of the pandemic and in the context of when we are saying the world is going to be taken over by artificial intelligence, right? In times like this, why liberal arts and mass com is not just standing out, but as they say in Gujarat, paise bhi bahut milte hai usme. So I'm going to quickly present a few pointers. First thing that uh, people always think that liberal arts and mass com is something that you do when you cannot do a science, you cannot do an engineering. It is time that perspective is changed, right? In most Indian households, we say that you liberal arts. When you have bad marks in science, you are not good with commerce, then liberal arts kar lena. you have to wear a kurta and hang around and do nothing. But this is changing extensively and exhaustively all over the globe. What is a liberal arts and a mass comm education? Let me tell you, liberal arts, while it's a degree, guys, you'll get to specialize in one thing, right? First thing, it is completely interdisciplinary, which means, and it is not just our university, it is across, which means, for example, if somebody wants to do liberal arts with a specialization or a major in mathematics, now think about it, right? If you're able to do it in mathematics with a minor or taking a paper like music, dance or mass communication, that is what is the beauty of liberal arts. It is an interdisciplinary approach which means we strongly believe that when you do a regular MBA or the regular degrees, you still become a rat in a rat race. Here, you are absolutely learning things which seem very diagrammatically opposite, but they are beautifully connected. For example, we have a lot of students who pick up psychology in liberal arts and a subject that they pick up in mass comm is media. Why? because they want to understand media psychology, especially in today's context of social media, right? All of us are on the social media. What happens? It is giving rise to various kinds of psychological illnesses that even we are barely aware of, right? So again, there are business students who learn performing arts and theater, right? So the beauty is interdisciplinary approach. Now, let me tell you, for all those who think interdisciplinary approach ka kya fayda hai, one, it, en it enhances a lot of critical thinking. Two, you see, you see the world around you right now. The only thing we keep saying is students have stopped asking questions. Students do not know how to think critically, especially I think for millennials who have this beauty called the social media, who have so much power in their hand. They should be trying more of interdisciplinary approach to learning because it opens your mind and your horizon. Another thing as a teacher I have noticed in today's generation is, you know, I'll be very honest, my father's time, my grandfather's time, it was always my first job was always my last job, you know, and everybody was very proud of it. But today I am seeing such a major shift where everyone works only for a year or two. People start retiring by the time they're 30. Why? Because they want to do their own things. The market is adapting to that. So what does this mean? It means that if you are doing business majors and you take up a minor in writing or filmmaking, what happens tomorrow? You will be able to write a blog, which will help you in possibly documenting the life, shooting the life of all the business families of a certain state. The blogs give you money, right? So interdisciplinary approach is very important. Quickly, always liberal arts and mass comm uh, purposely aim for a relatively small class size. Please understand that is simply because there is an intimate learning that happens in every liberal arts and mass comm college. Also, we feel the role of the faculty is very important. Faculties always are people from the field. You will see typically, and it should be a landmark for you people, when you are um, trying to go through colleges, you know, looking at their brochure, please understand 
the more you see adjunct and visiting faculty in a liberal arts and mass comm department okay someone has to switch off the audio thank you uh, the more you get to see uh, uh, you know um, adjunct and a visiting faculty the better the department is simply because this means people from the industry are actively engaged in teaching you stuff let me tell you one thing with liberal arts and mass comm you have to constantly be in touch with the field we have a specialization called digital media digital media changes i think every 6 months what do we do we get you will not believe it faculty is also as young as 25 years in our department in our department we also have young gamers teaching uh, or taking workshops lectures and papers that is simply because there is a dynamic value to this field it is changing faster than you know uh, <clears throat> exposure to creative things and concepts the kind of things that liberal arts does to you for example storytelling theater all these are uh, a, you know, engaging ways in which subjects and dense concepts like sociology geography economics are taught we have seen our students learn things much better and faster right also uh, there is this entire openness about liberal arts we encourage in fact uh, there is a course that only helps students to ask questions we grade students in fact you know internal marks a lot of it is carried out on how students ask questions because we've realized one thing is that despite having powerful platforms like the social media um, it is very easy to get this generation only to look at social media influencers who are talking about hair skin and dancing you know while there are other larger issues that need to be brought to the students we look at exposure to very creative things and concepts when it comes to liberal arts and mass comm critical and innovative thinking people critical thinking does not mean criticizing it means how to think not what to think there are ways you know you need to have a take if someone in 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 your house or in your office is dealing or treating women a certain way you need to understand gender dynamics you need to understand so much of sociology right so critical thinking and innovation i think innovation because i said in the beginning also this field around you is constantly changing therefore it is a very interesting thing that every liberal arts and mass comm department will focus on and that is innovative thinking skill another little secret let me tell you about the success of liberal arts and mass comm colleges is guys we have the best and strongest of alumni and not just the strongest we also have very glamorous alumni right where i studied we we've had people who become actors we've had people uh, who are now uh, music directors we have people who uh, head uh, you know sony television the brand so what happens the strong alumni always helps pick up people from your own uh, stream You know, so there's this whole thing. Like, I'm a mass comm student. I I, I have done my uh, masters in mass comm from Manipal, and then I have studied in Mica. So what do I do? Because of the alumni connect, I always pick up people from my own colleges, right? So please understand, liberal arts and mass comm as a concept and as an alumni network works wonderfully for your placement, internship, what not. Quickly, um, this is one question, Tanmay, that people always ask: Kis ke baad naukri kaise milegi? right let me tell you that honestly if you look at how these streams are we have people who then get into ias and ips after having a base of liberal arts in fact as a journalist as i said i've been a journalist for 15 years i am seeing a trend in even civil services because people want to take liberal arts people want to take mass comm and then get into all these sectors simply because it arms them with skills that a mechanical education degree will not give you right we have papers for even journalism students which teach you how to take interviews because what happens often in today's world you might have 5000 friends on facebook you might have a blue tick on um, your instagram but if i put you to talk to 10 people from the village you're not able to communicate with them right so we also make sure that we expose our students to as many as real time um sort of situations storytelling take them for field visit in our department however owing to the pandemic this has been a problem whenever students join the first uh, first month other than a basic introduction we take them for about 7 to 10 days for what is called a rural immersion we just leave you in a rural place 
I mean, you can fall ill, you can do what you want to do, but it is to unlearn and come out of your ivory towers and thinking that life is only around social media, right? So we need to look for real solutions. For example, let's look at the pandemic, right? What is happening? We never knew what is going to hit us, right? Right now, uh, the, 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 the talks are only around science. But what about research? What about understanding why a certain medicine has been dropped? What is happening to bodies? This kind of research cannot be ever done by robots, right? Artificial intelligence might be able to do your um, surgery, but you need people to give you a feedback. You need people to tell you that a remdesivir is not working or it is causing serious liver problems because I'm feeling so on and so forth. You need to take that down, right? So as we say, um, also quickly, mask on. Other than the usual journalism, ad PR, events, uh, there is a huge scope now, especially, and I'm emphasizing on post-pandemic, hospitals and the health sector is massively opening up for mass comm graduates uh, who can write blogs, who can talk about case studies, who can bring in solutions to a lot of issues that the hospitals are not able to deal with, which is communicating, which is connecting with human beings. Look at brands, they want to tell their stories to everybody. And a quick thing for especially those who are considering liberal arts. Typically, this is something that I have seen in liberal arts is that most people who do undergraduate studies uh, come with the point of view that they want to also study further. Um, and that's my submission that please make sure that you do consider in liberal arts only doing a graduate is not going to uh, 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 undergrad degree is not going to help you much. You must consider doing uh, something a little more than that because that will give you a solid base and a foundation in any subject that you're really keen on, right? For example, history. What do you do with the history? Tomorrow, you can also be heading some of the best, um, you know, museums. It's a very big thing. We don't understand how it is important to document and keep things. Now, if you do a degree in, in, in history, economics it gives you a brilliant base ir international relation liberal arts you will have half of the people in united nations with a liberal arts degree right also mass comm students are constantly prepared to think create and connect and come up with original solutions uh what does this mean this means um if you look at the pandemic right now what is happening right we've seen cinemas close we have seen all the OTT platforms suddenly boom. What are people doing? Uh, my students are making podcasts, are making podcasts of classes, of subjects, of topics. Mascom is always the first response to any kind of crisis that is happening, right? So these are the few pointers I wanted to quickly give you because one, I am someone who believes in liberal arts uh, uh, because other than the fact that I have studied uh, the essence of it and I started by saying, that from reporting a disaster, uh, you know, the 2008 tsunami as a television journalist to winning two international prestigious awards for crime reporting to being a stand up comedian, I owe it all to the fact that I chose a field that allows me to absolutely maneuver beautifully. It's a vast, vast field out there. You know, suddenly you can do radio jockeying. We have students who are bloggers and I'll tell you honestly for their blogs they've not even graduated they get paid advertising yeah they are writers they are people who are influencers this is a brand new field and it's doing very very well and influencers can be anybody anyone is who's even taking business you know can be an influencer and say okay my only job is to when the tax when the budget is happening every time I will be sitting and explaining the budget to the teenager you know, I will be doing a budget made easy for the young student. You know, so these are very interesting things that we are seeing Mascom develop. And as I'm saying, please, uh, it's time uh, and it's it's while uh, at, at a national level, the government is also emphasizing a, a lot on the non STEM courses, right? Because somehow we have an fixation for science and engineering. Let me tell you, at the end of the day, you're going to be a rat in the rat race. So, um, start start thinking other than that there is a lot of money there is a lot of opportunity you become a better person there is critical thinking and it is fun i mean we sit and watch movies together we're discussing films we're discussing films and its impact on the economy films and the changing image of patriotism in india there is so much that liberal arts can do to you 
you know so all in all um innovative techniques constantly opening to change flexibility a good job market in fact a lot of liberal arts and mass comm people we feel uh, are more future ready right because uh, here we are teaching you how to balance quick editing uh, making a film to be an influencer to saying your point and picking up any field right uh, there are people who do music and psychology because music and psychology has a beautiful connection a lot of music is used for stress for a lot of problems so if you are a brilliant balance between a psychologist who also knows his or her notes very well imagine how beautifully you will be doing in your profession and another important thing uh, which i'd like to end with tanmay and i'll take a few questions is liberal arts and mass comms soul the basic soul or the spine is social responsibility we always believe you know it could be a journalist we emphasize on rural journalism on giving voice to people who generally do not have a voice right so we have those very smart journalists you know who will be talking about that you are um, giving vaccines and approving it on the phone right you have a registration on the phone or the internet in india even now most areas uh, we have a digital divide how do you deal with it so suddenly the government is like yes right it makes sense let's look at a way of dealing with this problem critical thinking very basic but critical thinking right so social responsibility is something um which helps you become better citizens uh which makes you a little more conscious in whatever you do you know it could be pr and events it could be hardcore advertising you know in advertising if there's a little bit of social responsibility you will say no i think this concept of fair and lovely has been a little wrong you know what are we trying to sell social responsibility uh ethics and the last word that i would love to leave you guys with is empathy post pandemic we have realized sympathy and empathy are two different things guys empathy is is being in somebody's shoes and understanding pain we are in a world right now where we are all in a collective mess and if you don't have empathy for each other only trying to compete only trying to make things very difficult for each other it's going to spell doom for us empathy is another core of liberal arts and uh, mass communication